Welcome back to Ford to Math. I am your host Raphael Thompson and today we're looking at computation for grade 3. Here we go, question 1. Complete the following table. Input, add, output. Go ahead, find the number that's missing and put it in this table grade 3. This is addition without regrouping. So this is the easy one. You should be finishing off question one. And we move on to question two. $203.72 plus $94.13. No regrouping. If you need to use sticks or circles, go right ahead. I just need the right answer. And you should be finishing off question two. And we move on to question three. Write the missing digit in the box. So look at the numbers. The answers are there. See if you can find the missing digit for that box. This is addition without regrouping grade three. Next week would be regrouping. And you should be finishing off. We move on to question four. 41 plus 23 plus 34. If you need to put sticks, put the sticks or circles, put the circles and add. This is addition without regrouping. So you should be able to do this and get these correct. And you should be finishing off question four. One more question. And we move on to question five. Fractions, two-fifths plus one-fifth. What do you get? Let's go grade three students. Hope you can get five out of five on this easy addition test. No regrouping. And we will move on to the best part. Finding the answers. Here we go. Question one. Yeah, you could have counted on from 12 to 20. So you count 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's eight fingers, eight numbers. So the answer is eight. Question two. You can put your sticks down and then add. Three and two is five. Seven and one is eight. Put the point. Four, three is seven, nine. And zero is nine. Two and zero is two. $297.85. Question three. And the missing four and one is five, three and four is seven. Now two and a number gives you six. Count on from two, four numbers. Question four. 41 plus 23 plus 34. Put your sticks or your circles and then add. Four and three, seven and one is eight. 3 into is 5, 5 and 4 is 9, so your final answer 98. And question 5, you're adding fractions, so you add your numerators and just keep the denominator, so it's 2 plus 1, and you get 3 fifths. Got it? Hope you got 5 out of 5, thank you. Grade 3, next week you would have more of computation. I will see you in the next one. That's a wrap.